audience is uh, New York State education officials and New York State partners. Um, hello, my name is Sabrina Moore and I am the parent of two children with developmental disabilities that receive special education supports. And I'm here today to talk to you about provisions under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. Um, the idea is a monumental act because it provides for equal educational access to students who are developmentally different. The idea mandates that students with disabilities be educated in the least restrictive environment. That includes education in general education classrooms with needed supports and services in place. And I'd like to take a moment and share a personal story with you. My son Ashton is nine years old. He is sweet, thoughtful, hardworking, and he is on the autism spectrum. And I am embroiled in a battle. He is being pushed out of general education to a 12-1-1 classroom that would require him to transfer to a new school with a room full of new kids and teachers. His teachers currently tell me that he has only had moments of learning and involvement in the general education classroom. They are not communicating in a way that helps me establish what they've done to provide appropriate supports to my son. My ideas, thoughts, and feelings on the subject are overlooked in discussion. I literally feel like the invisible woman. When I know I'm supposed to be an equal partner in decision making about my son's educational needs. So you can imagine my frustration. And I'm left with a lot of questions. And most of them start with why. Why is my son only receiving moments of learning and involvement instead of being provided with multiple learning opportunities like other students in his class? Why does he have to move to a new school to receive those supports? Why can't he get what he needs in a place he's comfortable? It is a known fact that children on the spectrum learn better and benefit from structure and routine. To shift my son to a new school would be a huge, huge change for him and for us. And lastly, why do I have to fight with the school district about this? So I'm sharing my story to show you that there's a real need to support policy that would push for better inclusion of educational services. Schools and teachers need to show transparency and due diligence in their efforts to provide special education supports in the general education classroom. And there needs to be absolutely training for all school districts on how to effectively communicate and collaborate parents. Thank you for hearing my story and for helping to ensure that IDEA continues to serve students that need it and their families. Thank you.